and welcome to Take 5 with the Regional Chamber. I'm Kim Calvert. A local dog groomer is preparing to become a national grooming educator through one of the oldest groomer schools in the world. Jessica Chismar started Bath to Bow's Dog Styling Salon in 2014. Talia Hagler tells us she is a different approach than most groomers in the area. Jessica Chismar didn't dream about becoming a dog groomer as a kid. But after watching a pet grooming contest on TV one day, she fell in love with the profession. I was like, can I do this too? So I started exploring more. I was pretty much hooked. I went to the Nash Academy of Animal Arts in Kentucky. Jessica opened Bath to Bow's LLC, the dog styling salon, because she saw a need in the region for a stylized grooming option. Something between short, non-breed specific cuts and the high maintenance show dog styles. For someone looking for more of like a stylized, fluffier kind of pet trim without the high maintenance of a show dog, because show coats, they're a full-time job. They are very much so, but I can make something similar to that and still look the same. And she's doing something right because she's totally booked. Now, in addition to her successful grooming business and the grooming contest she enters, she's also getting involved in teaching online through Nash Academy and the IGA, the International Judges Association. We're launching the program in early of 24. I got some classes for um, mixed breeds and determining their coats and how to take care of them because the IJA does recognize 20 individual coat types with their own unique needs. And they're very easy to get confused, but if you know what to look for, then you can apply different tools and techniques to make sure that you're bringing out the dog's you know, optimum coat health, proper products to make them look as they should and feel as they should. Jessica says knowing and understanding the different coat types has made her a better stylist, and she's excited to share that with other groomers across the country and possibly even around the world. For Take 5 with the Regional Chamber, I'm Talia Hagler. If you're interested in learning more about Bath to Bows or the online courses Jessica will be teaching, visit bathtobowsllc.com. And now to an organization that's fighting food insecurity by bringing groceries to people living in food deserts. Action is a nonprofit that unites faith groups, schools, and organizations to help solve problems in the valley. They're addressing a problem of food deserts with the Mahoning Valley Mobile Market. The Market on Wheels brings many of the items you'd find in a grocery store to communities throughout Mahoning County. It makes 40 stops a month. All of the shoppers receive a $25 voucher. They can spend more if they'd like covering the balance with cash, credit card, EBT card, or other food vouchers. Youngstown warned we do not have a grocery store in the city. Now we have grocery stores on the outskirts, but everybody is not able to get to those grocery stores. And one of the nice things about it is we've partnered with Mercy Health that allows us to be able to feed people with healthy food because so many of our senior citizens, our young people, our people, period, they have not had, they've got uh, gout, they've got uh, diabetes, they've got uh, all of the different things, uh, health uh, additives. And so therefore, this is important because we can also teach them and bring them the healthy foods. Action purchased and outfitted the truck with the help of donations and grants. They recently bought a second unit that will be dedicated to bringing groceries to food deserts in Trumbull County starting early next year. We hope you enjoyed this edition of Take 5, and we'll see you again next week. With the Regional Chamber, I'm Kim Calvert. Take 5 with the Regional Chamber is produced by Mahoning Valley Productions, where we tell your stories.